Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 14th of 2023 is titled Supernova Remnant Cassiopeia A. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in and take a look and we see that this is an example of a supernova remnant and in fact would have been seen to explode here on Earth about 350 years ago. Now if you think about that, that's the late 1600s, so that's after the advent of the telescope. But in reality, this uh, supernova was not recorded. Now there are some possibilities that it was recorded as a very faint object within the constellation of Cassiopeia, but it certainly was not bright as we normally see supernovae. And one of the thoughts on this is that there was simply too much dust between us and the supernova for it to have been prominent in the sky. Now certainly there was a lot of exploration of the sky at this time so a very bright star would have been noticed especially something that had not been present before. Now here we're looking at a modern image and in fact this is an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope looking in great detail at the filamentary structure within the supernova. Now Cassiopeia A is what we classify as a type 2 supernova. This happens at the end of the life of a very massive star. So as stars go through their lives, most stars like our sun are burning hydrogen into helium. That is their fuel source. Once they use that up, they will go through heavier and heavier elements, burning her helium into carbon and then into oxygen and neon and so on up to iron. Once a star builds up an iron core, it becomes unstable. And that's because it takes energy to fuse iron into heavier elements instead of giving you energy. So as you get the temperatures and pressures to start fusing those iron atoms together, you start sucking energy out of the center of the star and it implodes crashing down and then is thought to rebound outward expelling the material out into space. And that gives us the supernova remnant that we see today that has been expanding for several hundred years. This is also where most of the very heavy elements are created. So we think that many heavy elements are created in supernova explosions and then expelled outward into space to help form future generations of stars. So many of the elements that make up our body, things like carbon and things like iron and the oxygen that we breathe and silicon in rocks could have at one point been part of a supernova and then expelled back out into space. And in fact, that's the only one of the few ways that we can actually create these heavier elements. It is through something like a supernova or through other things like colliding neutron on stars that could create much heavier elements, things that give a lot of energy. It takes a tremendous amount of energy to build up those much heavier elements. Now, of course, we know that this does happen because we find these heavy elements now all over the universe. And this can happen quickly because the stars that become supernovae don't live for a very long time. So it only takes a few million years for many of these stars to go through their lives and explode as a supernova. So while our sun will never get to this stage, it simply isn't massive enough. It is something that happens with the very most massive stars to expel those heavier elements back out into the universe. So that was our picture of the day for December 14th of 2023. It was titled Supernova Remnant Cassiopeia A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a stellar eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.